Hello guys, let's do an easy but very useful practice for timing today. With its help, it becomes clear how to set the speed of an object. So today we are drawing again in Procreate Dreams, press the plus button. In the templates, I choose square. Here I already have FPS 12 set, and I change duration to one second. Press draw. So let's get started creating a path. I take red color and fold the panel into flipbook. I draw an oval. Stabilization in Procreate Dreams is not the best, so I have to try hard. So close the flipbook. Now I press the active icon again to switch to default mode and hold the frame and duplicate it. Create a new track and move the duplicated frame there. Tapping on the screen moves the object, so move it to the right. And repeat this two more times, so there are four ovals on the screen. Now we need to make sure that this base is visible on all frames. To do this, hold the frame and choose full duration. Do this on all four frames. Now create a new track and choose a bright color. Now we proceed to creating marks. They will help us set the speed of the object. Our animation lasts one second at FPS 12. This means that we need to draw 12 frames in one second, that is 12 marks. Let's start with basic linear speed. We need to evenly distribute 12 marks on the first oval. OK, let's move on to the next oval. Here I want the speed to decrease behind and increase in front. To do this, draw marks closer to each other behind. Try to smoothly increase their density to the center. Now the third oval. Here let's make breaking at turning points. So draw marks closer to each other on the edges. So, on the fourth oval, let's do the opposite. Marks farther away from each other on the edges and denser in the center. Super! I think you understand the principle. Now close the flipbook and set full duration on this frame. I switch to timeline edit mode and select all our frames. Using a long tap, I group them. So, let's move on. Now we need to place the object on the marks. I choose another color and draw a small circle on a new timeline. Super! Now I go back to default mode and duplicate the object. For ease of perception, I turn on onion skin by clicking on the timer. Now we need to place duplicates in the center of the marks. Well, let's finally look at the preview. We see a linear speed throughout the entire path. I rarely use this speed, as it looks very boring. Now let's repeat the same thing with the second oval on a new track. Look at the preview, so you can see the differences for yourself. Here I greatly reduce the speed behind to make a big difference with the previous one. Let's move on to the third oval. Everything is the same here. Let's place a circle in the center of the marks. Look at the preview. Here the speed looks smooth, but more interesting than the first option with linear. Well, there's one more option left. Place circles. Here the slowdown in front and behind is very strong, but it creates a certain effect. Guys, use marks to set the speed in your animation to more consciously approach the result. And always think about what effect suits you.
I hope it was useful and interesting for you today. Thank you and see you in the next videos.